So here begins twowheelobsession.com. I am on my way to the dealer. I want to talk to them and see if I can hammer out a deal to get the bike. I've been gathering gear for the last couple weeks. I'm down to the last couple things I need, not including the bike. And let's just see what we can do. So we're here at one of my local dealers. I'm blessed in the Tampa area to have a ton of them to choose from. And I've talked to a number of them. This one looks the most promising. Nobody has this bike ready to go off the showroom for. It's a relatively slow seller and it's on the top level tier. So not many of the dealers have them out of the crates. So they're all kind of on equal footing. It's just down to what kind of deal I can strike what the dealer fees are, what they want to throw in. I do want to buy a new helmet. My existing helmet is eight years old, so it is too old, got to go. So, you know, that's maybe a bargaining chip if they can help me out with that. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, it's about uh, 10 minutes after they opened, and uh, I think I'm the only one here. Let's give it a shot. Close, but no cigar. This is the A model. This is what the ES model, which I'm buying replaced or rather is the upgrade to and basically this is like the old one because it doesn't have some of the cool new features like the suspension so the problem we're finding is exactly what I thought uh, there may not be any in Florida so he's making some calls and trying to find one to sell me <laughs> I said I'm not in any hurry Obviously, it's going to be in a crate, and he said totally cool about documenting the the birth of it and the assembly. So we'll work all that out if we can score a deal here. But like I said, step one is finding one. I'm definitely not getting this one. I mean, it's a great bike, but I want the new stuff. I got plenty of cool sports bikes. Got the old beginner ninja special editions. Got a Z1000. Got it in gray, got it in green. I really like this gray, it's two-tone. It's a beautiful combo, kind of a Street Fighter-esque look. And then the more traditional cowie green. Never been a fan of the cowie green. White's not bad, but you know what? It looks unfinished. It's almost like a little light blue in there in the white. And we have the ZX-14R, the big ninja, those beautiful stripes on the side. I like that. That looks like a monster cost slash a Hayabusa GSX-1300R. The bike that made news way back in, what was it, 99, 2000? Beautiful cockpit. That's really what it is. I love the look of the sport bikes. Just uh, not riding them for everyday street. If we had a track or something, oh, that'd be totally different. Got the Cowie, the Concourse 14. Little behind the times here, Cowie. I expect a brand new one probably next year. This one's getting long in the tooth. Now this one came out way back when I bought my 06 FJR, and they were big competitors back then, and the Cowie was a little better a little bit better but now it's not even a competition the new FJR has a, caught up I mean it's more on the BMW side than the Cowie not that the Cowie is a bad bike by any means it's just the last one to be updated and it shows so in comparison that's what you see that's about all they have some other sports bike sport bikes up front swing around here I love these adventure bikes it's just nothing I can do with them it's not like we have trails around here or anything but I love the look of them just freaking awesome got the Suzuki basically a smaller version Yamaha, which one is this? This is the street version of the R6, I believe. 
where they kind of tame the engine, give you a more upright stance, a little more every day. We've got the F, uh, FZ8, brand new release. Beautiful looking bike, another Street Fighter like look. Love the look of these two. If I didn't have the need to carry passenger and really love the hard bags, this is the type of bike I would be riding for sure. Got the little Ninja 650s and the smaller Yamaha, smaller Suzuki. So they got a good range, just not my bike. Ah. All right, I have confidence. We will find one. If you're interested, the difference between this, the A model, and the one that I'm getting, the ES, the main part is the electronic suspension. You can tell from the front because the ES has a black shock and it's upside down. So that's a dead visual giveaway, but the rear is also updated. Other than that, they're basically identical, but it's only about a thousand dollar difference for a completely different riding bike. Definitely worth holding out and getting the ES no matter what you have to go through. Also the resale on this plummeted since the ES came out. Alright well we worked out what I think is a pretty darn good deal. Big chunk off of MSRP which is a huge shock to me because the last time they wouldn't budge on this bike and they're not too happy about the MSRP budge. I'm not too happy about the dealer fees, which I got them down to down to 800 bucks. Just ridiculous. But they're gonna have to get this particular bike in the crate from South Carolina because it is the only one available right now that they can get. Other than that, I would have to do some serious waiting, and that's not really what I want to do. So I gotta pay to play, as they say. I also got a bargain on a new helmet. I got. Uh, 30 bucks under the best price from Revzilla, which is a phenomenal price to begin with. It's a $500 helmet I got for $409, so can't complain about that. And uh, yeah, just waiting on paperwork right now. We'll see how it goes. If everything looks kosher, I'll sign, get them a deposit, and then I will be doing the uncreating video. That'll be cool. Okay bike deal is a go. The numbers came out really well. I'm happy. They're happy. They made a little coin. Uh, I got one of the only bikes available. It's not even funny. I mean, I know some of the guys with these bikes and they're so small production, they're numbered. So it's going to be here within a couple weeks. They're going to call me this afternoon after they talk to the dealer up north that has it. Uh, they're not even sure if this one is in a crate or assembled. He believes it's in a crate, but he's not sure. He'll let me know later this afternoon. But he did say if it is in a crate, absolutely, I can film it and go through all that procedure. So that'll be really cool to see. I've always wanted to see it. And, uh, you know, I can also make sure that things are done right. Because there are many, many cases out there where dealer assembly, dealer prep isn't done right. So this way I can... See what's on the list, make sure they're doing it. I can show everybody what's done for this particular bike anyway. Some of them come completely assembled from the factory. Some require a lot more work. This is one in particular that does require a good amount of work. I know that for a fact compared to other bikes. So that's cool. But hey, looks like I'll be rolling uh, sometime early August, which is what my plan was to begin with. So that's cool. Now I just have to sit back, wait. I got some more gear coming in next week. Uh, the new GoPro 3 Plus Black should be here, I believe, on Monday. My Senna 20S, which is a brand new communications unit. I got one of the one of the few that are even available anywhere right now. I got it from Revzilla, and they only had six in stock. They're going off the shelves like hotcakes. That should be here on Monday also. I got the Senna Backpack for the GoPro, which links the two. Uh, the brand new Senna waterproof case for the backpack and the GoPro, GoPro, which has been like in waiting for months and is the only true waterproof and windproof solution for using a GoPro with the backpack. So 
I'm really fortunate that I'm doing all this at this exact time because this stuff is finally available. Very awesome. All right, well, I'm going to go home. Actually, I'm going to go eat some lunch, then go home, and we'll see what happens next. I just walked in from the dealer, and I had a delivery. So I'm not sure what piece this is. We'll find out. All right, here's one big piece of the puzzle. GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black got it on sale for $3.20. These things are $3.99 retail. They've been going on sale like crazy for a little over $300. Left and right, I mean, like crazy the last couple weeks. I really think the GoPro Hero 4 is right around the corner. But I am fine with this one. And I'll go into more detail about exactly why when I actually start everything up and start properly moto vlogging because there is a very good reason that I am not waiting and probably won't immediately jump to the GoPro 4 when it comes out. But hey, cool. Uh, let's see, I had my, yeah, my memory card that I got for it, which was a specific high speed 633 speed Lexar card, which was um, recommended by GoPro and it's just a absolute known works perfectly no matter what you want to do and it was only like 34 bucks caught an awesome sale on that I think I got that through Newegg I don't remember but that's coming in a separate shipment so I can't play around with this right now you know what I might actually have a micro SD card from an old phone that I could slip in here to play with so yeah I can do that cool alright well that wraps up today Okay, new plan. Here I am the day after I went up and bought the bike, and they were supposed to call me this afternoon. Guy, the uh, service sales manager yesterday says, all right, you know, we'll call you, because they didn't have any in the entire state. They had to get one from a dealer in North Carolina. And he's like, I'll, I'll call you, you know, when we get everything finalized, get you the VIN number, because I need that for insurance. I'm like, okay, cool. Nah, didn't hear a thing. So this morning, uh, took the wife. She had an appointment early this morning. She got back and then we went down to another bigger dealer that didn't have as a good a deal on the bike but I'd bought from them before and they have a better selection of accessories and I needed to find gloves. They didn't have any gloves at the dealer I got the bike from that fit me. I'm a big guy and I don't just mean overweight. I mean I'm overweight but my frame is big. It sucks because when you're buying stuff like my helmet the Shoei are the only brand, uh, specifically the RF series, that really fit my head shape, and I take a double XL. So most helmets, not even an option for me. And of course, you know, that's a $450 plus dollar helmet. Gloves, again, double XL, and it's mostly in the center part of the hand. Most gloves are just too tight. They might fit fine in the finger, might fit fine around the wrist, but I just can't flex this way so it's just really uncomfortable and they didn't have any of the brands in stock that fit me even the double XLs but I finally found a pair and they're in the car I'll show them to you later finally found a great pair that fit me they were 60 bucks but I know the guys at the shop they gave me a nice little cut got them for 50 out the door totally cool with that they're very nice gloves um, my older gloves that I still have and fit are great. They're Joe Rockets, but they're the wrong color. That's what sucks about getting a different bike or a new bike, and it's a different color than what you had before, even though all my old gear is still perfectly fine, well, except the helmet. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's eight years old, and, you know, a lot of people don't know that helmets wear out. Five years is a golden rule, so that had to go. You know, it's, a, it's an RF-1000 back from 2006. Great helmet. Love it but had to get a 1200, the new top of the line model, and uh, you know, just because of age. But color-wise it was fine, but my old jacket, my old gloves, all that kind of stuff was blue, new bike is red. So luckily I had a red jacket that fits me, so I didn't have to buy a new jacket, but I did have to get a new one for the wife. So anyway, we get the gloves, and then I'm like, you know what, screw them, I'm just gonna go up and uh, you know, get the information and they're like, oh, sorry, we forgot to call you. And I'm like, oh, that's all right, you know. So I uh, ordered my new helmet because, you know, I got a discount after buying the bike. 
ordered her a new helmet, ordered who knew, her a new jacket, and then in conversation he's like, yeah, blah, 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 and you know, it'll be ready in about two hours. I'm like, huh? What are you talking about? The bike. I'm like, thought it was in North Carolina. He's like, yeah, it was. It pulled in right after you pulled in the parking lot. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah. Sent a guy overnight, brought the crate back, being assembled as I'm recording this. Unfortunately, the salesman, of course, they'll say anything to, you know, make you happy. He says, yeah, you can videotape it, no problem. Sales manager, he's like, yeah, that'd be really cool. I'd do a little promo on the dealer, show somebody, yeah, that'd be cool. Let me run it by the service manager. Hell no. No insurance. You're not allowed back in the shop at all. Especially not videotaping. So he nixed that. He was actually the one that drove up and got it. I talked to him, uh, you know, trying to schmooze my way in. But nope, he was like, yeah, I understand. It'd be really cool. But nope, can't allow anybody back there. So it's being built right now. Uh, did not plan on having it even this weekend. I got tons of gear still coming in the mail, like my new helmet. I'll bring it home today using my old helmet, but I'm not going to be riding it until I get everything, you know, here and good. Uh, I got half my gear still in transit. Uh, I've got my GoPro. I'm missing the specific mount I want for it and some pieces. Um, the high-speed memory card still in transit. That might be here in tomorrow's mail. Today's Friday. Um, bunch of other little stuff. I got an X mount and a Ram ball mount coming. Uh, the life proof case for the phone. I still have to get a short power cord to go to the bike from the phone. You know, so there's half the stuff I've got, half the stuff I don't. I'm not ready to start this yet at all. So the bike is going to be sitting in the garage for a bit. I mean, which is fine, but I just did not plan on even picking it up today. What I'm doing right now is clearing some space out of the garage because uh, I'm going to store it We've got just a little two-car garage. You know, it's nothing special. And it wasn't that big of a deal, even when we had two bikes in here, because we both had Mini Coopers. And they were a mm, foot and a half, two feet shorter than what we have now, which is a pair of Kia Souls, which luckily are not big vehicles either. And the best way to get my bike in here will be to pull my car as far forward as I can, leave myself, you know, a foot walking space in front of the uh, laundry stuff there and that room there is my tool room so I go in there a lot and then the bike is just going to pull in right behind my car and there's plenty of room that's exactly how I did it with the Mini Coopers but um, just have to clear some space out so I can get the car because I got a lot of storage stuff in here and we've been doing a lot of work in here just three weeks ago we had to get an all new air conditioning system put in all everything brand new i mean that sucked up four grand that i wasn't planning on spending right there so put in this brand new temperature controlled attic fan which by the way if you don't have one of those and you live somewhere where it's really hot like this especially if your ac is in the garage best 80 90 bucks you can spend took me like 20 minutes to put it in i got it at home depot really made a dramatic difference and you can go outside and feel a really hot air blowing out of there. I was measuring temps about 130 degrees up there. I've got it set to come on at 90 and it just really helps the AC system keep up. So just a little tip there. But anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. Getting my stuff ready. The next clip is probably going to be... Here's the bike. Got a lot of stuff going besides the gear coming in. I'm doing the website. I'm uh, having some people design the logo. I still have to make an intro for the YouTube channel. So I'm recording a bunch of this stuff way in advance of anything launching. So I don't even know how I'm going to use all this yet. Ah. There we go. Plenty of room up front. Plenty of room to get back in there. And lots of easy space here for parking. More than enough. Moved hers up just a little bit so I can kind of come in and park there. And I know it fits because that's where I parked before. Tons of room, even with the bags on. Yeah, that'll work. I hung the wife's bike up over here. Got that out of the way. These are really cool. They're like uh, 20 bucks at Walmart. 
they're made to hold the front and the rear wheel but what I did is tied up the rope so that they don't come down it's like a, a pulley system but I just turned it into two really cheap hooks and you know the bikes are light enough to just lift up and put on there but they're made for anybody where if you couldn't lift the bike yourself you just lower the rope and these come back down and you just hook it on the top of the wheels and or the top of the frame and it lifts the bike up but doing it this way you can hold two bikes obviously I'll have to find a different spot for mine because this is over her car but yeah that's cool all right should have a call here in the next hour or two and there will be a bike there soon <laughs>